Hello everyone, it's me Mrs. Gronert and today we are going to learn how to count back to subtract with numbers to 20. Let's get started. How do you count back to subtract? Well, there are a few steps we can follow to count back to subtract every time. First, we look at the menu end. That's the first number in the equation and that's the number 17. We mark that number with a dot on the number line. Then we look at the subtrahend. That's the second number in the equation. And we count back on the number line by that number. In this equation, that number is 8. So we count back 8. Then we circle the answer. That's the place that we land on the number line. And for this equation, it's the number 9. Then we write that answer into the equation. So now we know 17 take away 8 equals 9. Let's try one. Okay, let's count back to subtract. Do you remember what to do first? That's it. We look at the first number in the equation, and that's the number 19. Then we mark that number on the number line, just like that. Okay, do you remember what to do next? That's it. We look at the second number in the equation. That's the number 6. And we count back 6 from 19. Let's do that now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we circle the place that we land. Where did we land? 13, you've got it. Now we write that answer into the equation. 13. So now we know 19 minus 6 equals 13. That was fun. Let's try another one. Okay, first we, you got it. Look at the first number in the equation. That's the number 13. And we mark that number with a dot on the number line, just like this. Then we look at the second number in the equation. Yeah, seven. And now we know we need to count back seven. Let's do that now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we landed on the number six. So we circle the number six and we write it into the equation. So now we did it. 13 minus seven equals six. Great job. Let's do another one. This is fun. Okay, what do we do first? Yes, we mark the number line with the first number in the equation. That's the number 18. Yeah, perfect. Now, Yes, we look at the second number in the equation and we count back that number to subtract. How many do we count back? 10. Okay, let's do it now. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And where did we land? Yes, we landed on the number 8. So we circle the number 8 and then write it into the equation. And now we know 18 minus 10 equals 8. You're doing a great job with this. Okay, let's try another. What do we do first? Yes, we mark the number line with the first number in the equation. That's the number 13. So let's mark the number line. Okay, now what do we do? Yes, we look at the second number in the equation and we count back that many to subtract from 13. Let's do it now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where did we land? You got it. We landed on the number five. So we circle the number five and then write it into the equation. So we know 13 minus eight equals five. Oh, you are really good at this. Let's do another. Okay, what's the first number in the equation? Yeah, 11. Let's mark that number on the number line. Now, 
How many are we going to count back? Yeah, you got it, four. Let's do that now. One, two, three, four. Where did we land? Yeah, we landed on the number seven. So circle the number seven and write it into the equation. And now we know 11 minus four equals seven. Great work. Now you know how to count back to subtract. Tell your family, tell your friends, show everyone you know. Counting back to subtract is a really cool skill to have. Thanks for learning with me today, and I sure hope to see you again very soon.